I always say unless you pass out, throw up, or shit yourself, then you haven't trained hard enough. I don't like it. It's 7.30am, I'm in Stoke-on-Trent, and I'm going to be trying to live a day in the life of former world's strongest man, Eddie Hall, aka The Beast. Top lad, The Beast. Torn an easy day, to be honest. I'll be after that. Okay. <laughs> Take your daily vitamins. This is more vitamins than I've taken in my life. I tell you what, I feel great already. I feel, <laughs> I feel unbelievable. I always say, unless you pass out, throw up, or yourself, then you haven't trained hard enough. So, one of those at least from today, if not all three. A hat trick? Yeah. I'm, I'm peckish, but I'm scared to say I'm peckish because um, I don't think it's going to be a, a little bowl of cocoa pops. Right then, Jake, this is the first meal of the day. So we've got 220 gram of organic salmon each. We've got uh, organic sourdough, and then we've got some organic peppers as well, and that's just for some good vitamins. And then I've done you a dose of all the vitamins that I'd have with breakfast, which is krill oil, omega freeze, vitamin C, vit multivitamins. You yeah. do this day in, day out. I was, uh, if you want to be the best in the world at something, consistency is key. So dig in, buddy. Cheers. It's honestly delicious, but half of that's a pretty reasonable breakfast. I'm now getting into second breakfast territory. Eddie's done the dishes and getting on with his day, and I'm still working on these. It, it won't go down. this for a living, it's keeping up very well. If you've not got the technique of swimming, <laughs> you are literally in the wind. And he hasn't got the technique, so he's, but he's trying, and that's the main thing. I gotta say, after a tough morning run, a grueling swim, you can't beat a nice relaxing jacuzzi. Right, we've done our swim, and as you can see, I haven't drowned against all odds, so now I live to have another meal. This is, we're getting on a thousand calories, I and mean, this is like a recovery meal, and then we're going to have a meal to fuel the boxing session later on. This is a hyperbaric chamber. Now, what I like to do at this point in the day is just have a bit of a nap. It gives the body time to replenish the glycogen stores, sort of mentally refocus and then getting just having an hour and a half in here listening to some nice music whilst breathing pure oxygen it gets you ready for the boxing session this is my pre-boxing ritual now this is uh, something my nutritionist demands that i put in i feel like you were saying earlier it's not a workout unless you uh, pass out yourself on puke cup. Mm -hmm. This this is making me feel like puke cup is likely to be the first thing. <sighs> Best enjoyed all by yourself just before boxing after loads of food. Mm. You've been looking forward to this, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you full? Mmm. Oh, More than full. Mm. Like two Christmas dinners full. <laughs> <laughs> we do train about four o'clock, so we're very tired, uh, we're full of food, and it's not an idyllic uh, situation, but nine times out of ten, neither is a flag, so this is great scenario training. Right, are you ready, buddy? <laughs> I want you to try and punch me on top of the head. Literally, just try it. Just, just try and punch the world's strongest man in the face. Yeah, it's not right, I'm good. Treatment 
treatment is, in my opinion, one of the best things you can do for recovering. What the cold does is squeeze all the blood out of your muscle, gets all that lactic out, and then when you warm up, puts fresh blood back in. For you happy viewers, you won't be able to see if this is six degrees. And you won't be able to tell because I'm not going to react at all. We get in. <laughs> Last five seconds, shoulders straight, head and shoulders under, yeah? Oh, Come on. Nah, nah, nah. Let's do it. Nah, I can't head under and then we can get out. Tell you what, it's been it's been you've been you've been a real pleasure. You've real been pleasure a to have on board. It's been Thank you very much. It's been a nice day. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Top lads, the beast. Awesome, man. Thank you. Very much. So I'm back home, I've got my chicken and rice as Eddie instructed. Um, he said today wouldn't be complete if I didn't puke up myself or pass out. I'm hoping this is going to help me pass out. Done. Time for the best sleep of my 